Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this reflective floor in After Effects. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first of all, we're going to make a bouncing animation. As you can see, I already have like a simple bouncing animation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a shape there and create a rectangle. This is basically our going to be our main floor. And we're going to adjust the gradient points. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the stroke to around white color because you want a small boundary. And we're going to change the gradient color to something dark so we can see our reflection. The color doesn't matter, you can choose whatever color you want, just make sure it is dark. Now change this point to around 10% or 11%. So there's like a fine boundary. Now just adjust the points to whatever you like. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to play the video. And as you can see, the floor doesn't align. Just we're gonna just change the position so it aligns with our ball animation. Now we're gonna duplicate both of our layers, place it on top, and pre comp it. This is going to be our main reflection. Now we're gonna create a new null layer and we're gonna place it between our first null layer and the ball. Alright, now just link the reflection to this and make it 3d and change the x rotation to 90 or wherever you see fit all right so as you can see this is good okay now we're gonna go inside the comp and we are going to create a rectangle mask this is just to make uh, the reflection very diffuse if you really don't want a uh, sharp reflection all right so just feather it something like this is all right okay so as you can see we have our sample reflection but this can be much better we're gonna add some effects to it the first effect is going to be Gaussian blur and just adjust the settings this is good all right so we're gonna add another blur which is fast box blur and just adjust the radius we are doing it just to uh, diffuse it a bit more all right so basically this is our reflection done so now we are going to add some details to our flow for that we are going to make a new solid layer and this is going to be our grid floor okay now we're going to apply the grid effect to it of course and we are going to change the settings so we can only see the vertical lines just increase the height okay something like this is good and make sure the border is really thin all right this is good we're gonna make it 3D now and we're gonna change the X rotation so it follows along the floor and we're gonna change the position as well make sure the perspective is correct okay so we're gonna adjust it and now as you can see uh, the line cuts off so we are going to add motion tile to it and just increase the length but now it also appears uh, above the floor so we can fix that in a sec alright so we are going to duplicate our floor layer and we are going to apply fill to it and we are just going to mat it I have After Effects 2020 but if you have 2025 you can just link the mat to it you don't have to duplicate it alright so as you can see it only appears on the floor now we are going to just change the color so it is very sudden just make sure it is really light alright so this is good ok now we are just going to animate the position in the direction of the movement of the ball completely simple just put two keyframes and adjust the speed of it all right this is good now okay so in order to make this a lot better uh, we're gonna create a new adjustment layer and put deep glow to it and we're gonna select a rectangle mask and create a thin mask uh, something like this right we are going to increase the feather a little bit so the mass is pretty smooth and as you can see the floor is glowing now now we don't want the mass to be really thick uh, we don't uh, we want to make it really thin all right so this is good now just increase the exposure of the deep glow we are doing this so the ball only glows when it touches the floor as you can see alright we are going to duplicate our shape layer the bottom floor shape layer 
and we are going to rename it to floor haze we are going to make like a simple background and we are going to apply these effects which is fill and fast box blur as you can see uh, we have created a subtle haze make sure it is not too much because it's gonna look weird all right so this is cool okay so as you can see we have a small smooth background and our animation is also completed now we are going to make another adjustment layer and apply deep glow to everything and we are going to increase the radius and change the exposure to 0.85 make sure to change the threshold to 75 or something like that and yeah so if you learned anything make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you with the next one